People don't know like the background to it. Ain't that yeah. right, Wally? Well, a lot of people don't know that uh, you should have been an Olympic representative, you know, because when we were doing all the fights or the qualifiers, the kid that represented the USA never won a thing. No, he never qualified. Wow. He never won nothing. No. Nah. And you see now, excuse me. All right. Now, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a, it's a mandatory that you got to win mm -hmm. for the tops just to qualify, be in the top four. Yeah. But she never was. He wouldn't take the chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when, now that's been, been alleviated. So now you're going to get a, a true champion that's going to represent the USA from now on. About Thanks time. to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, let's let you know that didn't go down in vain because a lot of us, you know, we didn't feel like that was right. Okay? Thanks, Coach Wally. I'll see you soon. See you in the, in the lockers. Yeah, man. Not a lot of people know the background to it. What was that? Not a lot of people know the background to it. Um, no, what he was talking about was basically like how they screwed me in the Olympic trials, winning the U.S. Olympic trials and everything, and they, um, you know, USA Boxing and IEPA, they allowed it to go that way. They, they brought someone else when he never qualified. Now, come around this time of year, 2020 Olympics, you have to, when you win it, it's mandatory that you stay and you have the position.
Thank you, Bernardo, Tia Fibo. Every time we see you and your dad say, we ain't seen nothing yet. No, you guys haven't seen nothing yet. You guys have not seen anything yet. So, last week we saw the Sweet This week we're going to see Terrence Crawford. You tell me who's the best fighter in the world. Why? I am. I'm just that great. They will come in and see me. What are we going to see tomorrow night? It makes people say, you know what? He's right. That is the best part. What are you guys going to see is not just me, the power, the ring I can get. It's all thing in the middle of the mission. It's all about entertainment, man. Watch the celebration, some more night dance. Everything coming, coming in together and finishing with the background. I think he gave you guys something to talk about, Max. Take over. Another show, and a takeover. As we always say, it's just, uh, as the competition is better and tougher, we can just have a great day and everything we do. People want to see knockouts, people want to see the backlist, the sport that is, and so much more. And then, you guys have to be honest, we are, we are, we are, we are, Very much attention ringside, you were checking your phone out a lot during that fight. Yeah, he was. Were you impressed? No, I wasn't. You know, but he did what he had to do. He went out there, um, and you know, he took Corolla out. So, yeah, he was uh, um, for someone who's critical of Romachenko's last opponent, it's not like you're in with a world beater yourself. How can you criticize his opponents when you're, you fought as you fought? His last two opponents have been in uh, the head of seven. Uh, his last two losses. His two losses that he has was by the official majority of the season. So this guy is coming to bring it. Bring it and he's bringing his A game. So you believe if you beat him up and knock him out, you'll be making a statement? I always make a statement each and every time, and that's why we're here. That's all right. <laughs> I want you to listen to something that Lomachenko had to say.